Hello, audio test, audio test on Twitch. Sounds good on Twitch. Cool, good, great, fantastic, brilliant. I'm glad to hear that. Good, 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 good. Right. Bring up the queue and are we ready for some more Lobco? As I switch. Lobco, Lo Lobco, yay, hello. <sighs> Hello and welcome back to Gary and Weaver vs. Live Lobotomy Corporation Lobco. We are up to day 9 on the second attempt at the run after I lost on day 11 last time. So um, if you want to see the full thing, I've done this is part s s 5. I think it's part 5. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, this run was just last time. So, to quickly go over what we have. We have got, uh, Dia, the control team captain. We have Solomon, who is in charge of personnel control. We have Delta, who, um, I can't remember what Delta does. I don't remember what Delta does. Uh, Noily who enjoys uh, spending time with a space spider and Nathan uh, who looks traumatized and we have the magic skull that you tell all your problems to we have the room static that is evil ish we have space spider that Noily gets along so well with and we have um, the magic machine that improves your stats except when it kills you <clears throat> in the information team we have Ryan who dies a lot and is currently looking peed off about dying so much we have got Skia who is I can't actually remember the roles that everybody had uh, I think Skia is is a, a dog dog lord uh, we have Velvet with uh, their spear we have Sean, who looks very miffed. And we also have our newest addition, Cairo Lund. Uh, and we have Lidogo. We have Liboido. We have Little Match Girl. And then we have the new one, who, uh, which is another item. So let's begin. Oh no, uh, lob. So I've got some lob to spend. So let's promote some people. So uh, Nathan, what, what what can I do for Nathan? Let's put one in each of those. Uh, Solomon as well. Same thing. Uh, Ryan. There we go. So just promoted three people. Um, and let us crack on with day nine. So the new thing we have is a black mirror. I don't remember what the quote for this one was, so we shall find out the fun way. Um, I have no mission. So it's just about learning and surviving. So I believe we maxed out Popadai. We have. Uh, we have also maxed out the Punishing Bird. And I'll just spend some of those. So we need some more unique boxes to afford the Ego equipment for the Boydy. Uh, and Scorched Girl we have barely dealt with at all. So we, we have to see the Boydy the the girl but first of all let's have a volunteer uh who's volunteering what's that cairo you're volunteering no but you're the newbie no let's send velvet in come on velvet who do i have here that is specially equipped for dealing with people who go panicky ryan anyone else No, everybody else is 
Ryan and, and Kai. Uh, Kai Cairo. Hey, Shira. All right, Velvet. In you go. Why is everyone telling me to be careful around the abnormalities? Okay. Ah, so this has a number of uses. It assumes the safe, the shape of a shovel glass, but nothing is reflected. Those who face mirror of adjustment will have their stats randomly adjusted. Um, all right, your stats were not affected. Return, Velvet, unto the mirror. Now I can pr proudly say I've joined a wing. Mirror of adjustment. Yep. Yep, that, that's what it's called. Stats appear... Oh no, they're slightly increased. Return again. Mm, stats appear the same again. Velvet. I'm assuming there's going to be a case of if you use the mirror of adjustment too much, your face blows off or something. That feels like the way this is going to go. The only thing it shows is people. When facing oneself in the mirror, the subject changes. There are numerous suggestions, like the possibility of a linkage to a parallel universe or magical powers, but none of this is confirmed. If one faces the mirror of adjustment more than once a day, all their stats will lower each subsequent time they face it. I see. Okay. 17, 17, 17. Let's just try again. Yep, no, those are definitely going down. What do I need? Seven. Oh, it went back up again. And now, like, the prudence went down. Sorry, punishing bird is what? Oh, yeah, the cliff off counter. I forgot about that. Well. Bugger. Everybody go beat up the bird. I completely forgot the bird would escape. Hit. <laughs> it fucking ate skier. I'd look perturbed as well. Fuck me. Remember to pay attention to managerial information. Uh. Oh, and. Whatever? If anyone goes into any other containment ever, it reduces the thingy. That seems broken as hell. Bloody hell. Uh, those who face the mirror, the, face themselves in the mirror may appear the same, but in actuality they're completely different people. Um, I'm just going to keep sending velvet. Oh, Ski is dead. Yeah, that didn't go down. That's on four. So I don't think it was because I sent someone into a different one. I think it was because they're of the cliff off. Cliff off. Cliff, cliff off meltdown. Right? I, I'm just... I'm, I'm planning on resetting the day. I'm just... I want to know everything that's going on with the mirror so I can know it. Oh, that's it. Wow, that's quite simple then. Uh, looking into the mirror multiple times will gradually eat away one's humanity until they become indistinguishable from a hollowed husk of a man, so caution is advised. Yeah, Bri just walked right past me without saying a word. What's up with him? 
Ah, oh, he took a peek at the mirror. You know, he always complained about being born too weak. What? I guess he finally made up his mind about it. Satisfaction's only temporary, though. Okay. Bizarre. Sure. Oh, load with the normal probability, I see. Alright, well. Fuck. Okay, well, the mirror seems to be essentially a non-entity. Like, it's randomly adjusted, so it's not something I'm actually going to want to do. And if I do it more times, it just reduces the chance. So it's like, oh, roll a dice. And then every time I roll a dice that day, it... It just gets worse, so there is n virtually no reason for me to use the mirror of adjustment. Alright, retry the day. Bloody Boydy. Little monster Boyd. Alright. So. I think I will try and just get into the habit of sending someone into the mirror once a day just to slowly tick that one up. Is everything else? Yeah, so it's the bird and the girl that I'm playing with today. So, uh, remind me, what the bird likes? The bird likes instinct. Uh, so, let's send in someone to do instinct. Uh, Cairo, go play with the boydy. Send me in. Show dominance. <laughs> hey, Teddy. Look, Skier, you don't need to show your dominance over a tiny little adorable little tiny little murder bird. Chit chat with the bird. <laughs> Look, the, the bird is stuck in a little box that it can somehow escape freely. Um... You don't need to show your dominance over it. You know, just just be be happy with who you are and the bird will stay far away from you is the hope. Uh, right, I don't know what the girl likes. I think I did attachment and somebody burned horribly. Right, let me just read this. When the work result is normal, uh, it lowered normally. When it's bad, high probability. Oh yes, yeah, and she explodes when she escapes. Now I remember. I'm gonna bite it, I'm no coward. Skia, don't bite the bird. Can't believe I have to say this. The ego you brought from the bird was lost. Yeah, I brought it back, yeah, don't worry. All right, um, who am I sending in to the goyle? Uh, Skia, all right, Skia, fine. I will send, Skia, I'll send you into the bird, but behave. Okay? You and Cairo are spending your time with the bird today. Oh, yeah, the dog's going to be a problem, isn't it? Um, Ryan and Velvet, you two come down to these to the match girl. So, uh, Skia, go, go play with the bird. Oh, Skia, you're not doing well. You tried to bite the bird, didn't you? Skia! Hmm. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Damn, Skia was on BRB, so they didn't even see that they went in to play with the bird. Alright, let's try instinct work with... Um, Ryan. Uh, 21, so I need 25 and 30. So, uh, Cairo, you go in there. Skia, you better come and heal. Oh, Cairo's taking a beating. On, good work, Ryan. Alright, instinct. Oh, attachment is very bad. 
do not attach to the burning girl. Alright, you can go back in, Ryan. Oh, shoot, I forgot about the meltdown. Uh, so this one, I believe, is also instinct. Yes, it is. So someone other than Nathan, so that I can try and get more people with the, um, the thing that they have on their head. The good gift. Good. Uh, Red Dawn. Red Dawn. I don't remember what the Red Dawn is. Uh, Ryan, you better go heal up. Red Dawn. Oh, Red Dawn was the circus, I think. Okay, so instinct, sorry, insight is the best. Oh, fourth match flame, that looks really cool. Okay. So, um, velvet. And the punishing bird's gone down, so skier, you can go back in there. Yeah, we got red in the timeline uh, when the angel destroyed the world. 16, good. Cliff off counter 2, that is not a particularly high counter. Oh no, her counter is low. Uh, vulnerable to white and pale. Fourth match flame, mouth 2. Okay. Whoa, look at that weapon. Haha, <laughs> match cannon. Wow. Uh, so that's 35 and 25. Alright, let's read about the match girl. <clears throat> it takes the form of a girl burnt to ashes. Even though there's nothing left to burn, the fire still doesn't extinguish. A matchstick impales the girl's body like a stake. Usually the match is always lit while the abnormality shows no sign of activity. Because of this, the employees often speculate that the matchstick may be the abnormality's true body. However, recently the ashen figure was seen crying, according to a witness. Uh, excerpt from a specialist doctor research log. The charred body represents the child's crumbled hope, while the ever-blazing flame represents the obsession for affection. It's always in conflict with the contradiction between these two. We paid a boatload and that's <laughs> we paid a boatload and that's all they have to say. Recorded staff conversation. Well, she's like a ticking time bomb. No one can tell if she's in a good mood or not. We just hope that we won't be the one blown up before entering the containment unit. She won't get any better. We can only try and keep her from getting worse. Uh, except from counseling log. I never thought the abnormality would be able to escape. Maybe we were getting careless, but it seemed like all it could do was burn up the matchstick stuck in his body. Yes, our response is a bit late. Most abnormalities that try to escape would attack the employees in front of them, but this one didn't show any aggression towards the nearby employees. Instead, it headed to a different department, the most crowded one in the company. If we didn't suppress it at the door, half the people in there would be in one, wouldn't be in one piece. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's scary. Oh. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I guess I'm still just farming bird and uh, bird and girl, and then we'll have the red dawn to deal with. Uh, you come and heal, and Ryan, you go instinct and uh, skier. You can go and instinct the the bird. Didn't reduce the cliff off. Good. I'm worried about the 
the Scorched Girl cliff off counter. Okay, both positive. Alright, uh, because they both hurt quite a bit, I'm going to have them both return here. Um, oh yeah, success rate for all agents is increased. And... Uh, Lund is still recovering. Oh, because you weren't defaulted to that way. Uh, Skier, go back in. And girl... Let's have Ryan go back in. Oh, crap, I forgot. I immediately bloody forgot. Right, everybody suppress the shit out of it. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Alright. Everyone suppress them because they're going to reduce the cliff off counter and we're going to be in trouble. Okay, I think that's one dealt with. Oh, it's moved. Alright, everybody. Come and deal with the clown. It's outside Popper Die. Don't let Popper Die out. Where'd it go? It's bloody teleporting all over the frickin' place. Okay, there is a cliff off counter with this one as well, so hurry up, guys. Oh, it fucking... Oh my god, that's so irritating. Alright, it's messing with the bird. Okay, Dawn of Crimson. We're good, we're fine. Uh, yes, uh, you chomped the bird. Wait! That reduced the frickin'... That was on two. Why did that reduce it? That's gone down. That was on two. I saw that was on two. Was that on... F hmm. It's based on how many clerks are alive. I didn't know that. Well, shit. Now I suddenly feel like there might be reason to, to keep them alive, the little buggers. The little squishy buggers. Oh, damn, I had no idea. Well, crap. Okay, well, uh, apart from... Apart from that, we came out of it alright. So we're, we're gonna finish way before the next cliff off. So we're fine. Well, okay. Um, how come we aren't working with the dog? Uh, because we don't need to. We've got... Oh, yeah. Damn, we do. Sorry, I thought we'd max that out already. If all the agents in the department die, every clerk will immediately die as well. Oh, well, that sounds awful. Hmm... So I need another 10 from him. Alright, what, what's the Popper Die? Instinct. It's got to be Instinct, isn't it, with Popper Die? Ooh, Popper Die's only got one. So... Yeah, okay. Let's try Popper Die Instinct. Cairo. Don't fuck it up, Cairo. Uh, I'll also send uh, Skier back into the bird. And Ryan back into the girl. Ooh, shit! Yeah, I'm aware that Poppadai escaped. Thank you for the advice. What's Poppadai's deal? Weak to red. Endures white. Yep, 
Yeah, fuck no. Let him, let him eat a Clark. Uh, he's got a ranged weapon. Is Velvet the only one with a ranged weapon? Okay. Or it's not ranged? Okay, he's distracted murdering a Clark. Quick, get in there. Never mind. God damn. <sighs> mid ranged? Yeah, I assume mid range wasn't melee ranged. I thought it would be like a gun could get from there, a spear could get from here, and like a melee weapon gets from there. But no, she just charged straight up and was just like, oh, I'll just stab him with this spear. Oh, well. How are we doing? 16, 9, and 14. Yeah, this is why I was sending Skier into play with the dog. Could have been worse, frankly. Come on, you got this, Cairo. Good work, Cairo. Very good work. Good enough for me to... What's that then? That's a very short range. I'll buy the, the suit. Alright, job done. Everybody's alive. Yay, everybody's alive! Noily increased sanity, Ryan increased sanity, Skier imp increased prudence, Velvet and Cairo both increased. Good. Yeah. On we go. To day 10. Oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Shouldn't there was a system error, it shouldn't have been so easily compromised. It's a technology originally developed during the war. Now why lose for commercial purposes? Yeah. Cause this is this is I, I know I've I've seen this one before, uh, Luke, I just wanted to go over it again. Because this is the foundation for my theory that you are playing as an AI. Because a cognition filter to your display is implied that it's on the computer screen. But in that case, if it was on the screen itself, on the computer display, why does she look different? She should have looked the same because she is in the room with me. So if it is a cognition filter in your display and someone in the room looks different, then it's got to be your eyes that are the display. Hmm. Yeah, I, I reckon there is something going on there. Right. Expansion level good. Uh, three more points to spend. Uh, Velvet, you are the one getting the promotion this time. One and one. Boom. And I'll save the last point. Or should I... No, actually, I'm going to increase that. Okay. I didn't actually get... Oh, damn, I meant to send someone in at the end. I'm sorry, I forgot that. All right. Uh, ego list. Um, 
Some we do have some people with prudence and level two now, so we can give someone our galaxy. And Nathan or Velvet, I think. Velvet. And we definitely need a gun downstairs. We don't. I've got. Oh, I've got two. Uh, two beaks now. Oh, but the beak is actually just. Oh, damn. The beak is actually a straight upgrade. To uh, soda. So downstairs, who's gonna have the the beak downstairs? Sean, I think. Uh. Oh, penitence and cherry blossom are the only white things I still have. White weapons I have. Uh, noise. Weak to red. Uh, beak. Endured, endured. Weak to black. Sean, I'm going to give you that. Mm. So, I've also got so cute. Endured, weak, endured, vulnerable. Fragments from somewhere. Who is that? Oh, that's the um, the cosmic spider. How rare are pale weapons? That is a good question. I haven't seen any, so I assume they're higher end. I also haven't seen anyone who deals pale damage, so I assume they are a higher end thing. I don't remember what pale is, because um, red is health. White is sanity, black is health and sanity, and I can't remember what pale is. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's probably fine. All right, day ten. Uh, let me just remind myself what attack types here we are. Pale, death itself. Pale shaves away the soul. Even the toughest body and wisest mind do not matter. All are equal. When pale damage is dealt, HP will be reduced in portion. The maximum HP of the employee on the receiving end. Yeah, that does imply that you cannot deal it. Pale. That's clever, like pale, the pale rider. The pale rider, death. That's clever. Alright. Uh, uh, that was weird. Bugged out a bit. Right. <clears throat> So, what are we doing today? Uh, just continuing these three, I guess. How close is Popper die? Uh, Punishing Bird, we only need one more of those, so we need um, 16 more boxes from Punishing Bird. So, Skier. Go play with the boy D. Uh, the girl. Uh... Oh, they are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Chomp, chomp. Don't bite the bird skier. Damn it. Um, Ryan, go play with the girl. It did bite you first, but that doesn't make it okay. Two bites don't make a a, a right. Bite isn't bite. Bite doesn't make right, skier. Good work, though. Very good work. Uh, we are on to day 10 now. Um, you didn't really miss anything. Um, just theorizing and stuff. Popadoy. What are we doing with Popadoy? Um, Velvet. Go play with Popadoy. Two noms. Two noms make a bite. Ha <laughs> ha! Very clever jewel master tray. <laughs> uh, 25. That is enough for the really cool ash suit. Uh, looks like we're two away off a meltdown, so I'll get everybody into position. Uh, Nathan, go down to... Nathan, you go there. 
uh, Delta, you go to the Skull, Noily to the Spoider, Dia to the uh, Machine. Skier to the Bird. No, Skier, Skier to the Dog. Skier, yeah, Skier to the Dog. Velvet to the Bird. Cairo to the Mirror. And Ryan to the Girl. Uh, what department is next? Well, last time I went... Uh, for safety, I think it was, because I thought, yep, yeah, safety is an important thing. Uh, but I don't know, I'll have to remind myself of the options. Alright, everyone's ready for the next meltdown. Ryan, go um, insight. If your employees want to eat the unspeakable horrors, maybe you should consider getting a new cafeteria supplier. The cafeteria is really good. Like, it came very highly recommended. Even Angela says that it, it's not terrible, which is really high praise coming from Angela. And Skier just likes biting things. Like, they bit the skull. We have art of that. Um, they've now bitten the bird. Grindy ego for one sin. Ego for one sin. Oh, yeah, grindy ego for one sin, yeah. I'm going to bite all the avnos. Ah, oh, skier. Um, do you always want to get as many positive PE boxes as possible? There's a lot of bits and bobs to this game. I think until I get to know it better, I would rather just try and do well. Like, I can reset days, but like the last time I really messed around learning a thing, it caused the apocalypse and I had to restart the run. So, um, yeah, I'd rather get to know the game a bit better before I start exploring for all of the hidden Easter eggs and stuff. Yeah, I, I know what you mean about the, the ego gift. Yeah, I got what you meant. Um, where are we sending people? Popadai again? Alright, so this one's going to trigger it. So this is a meltdown. <laughs> Abnormality taste review. <laughs> It was a very huge apocalypse. All right, Papa Die. Let's send um, Skier into the dog. It's melting down with the static. What is static like? Uh, instinct. Who have I got outside there? Sorry. Uh, Nathan. All right, in you go. So what does the ego gift do? Oh, yeah. Just success rate plus 10%. That is a very good one. Purple Dawn. Purple Dawn. Purple Dawn, I think, is the fruit. Which is very easy. So I do not need to worry about that. Uh, pop a die. Let's get a paw. Um... Pop a die taste review. Do not eat the puppy. Puppy. Um. What do I need? Yeah, I, I, I'm just farming the mante now. So let's wrap up the bird. So uh, velvet, velvet, go into the bird. <laughs> 1.76 megahertz taste review. Tongue fell asleep licking the wall. <laughs> Alright, that is enough to finish off the bird. So apart from the bird going psycho, I don't need to worry about the bird anymore. Also, let's just withdraw everybody up there. Uh, pop a die. Alright, let's give Skier a break from the dog. And send uh, Sean in there. Punishing bird taste review. In Soviet city, bird eat you. Scared to heal up, would you? Die. And you better also come up. Alright, you got neutral with Papa Die. Not great. Acceptable, Sean. Keep it up, though. I need to... I need to max this one out. 
All this time, the abnormalities are actually YouTubers tasting us and recording their review. Today, I ate a Clark. Oh, I've never tried a, 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 a gamma-flavored Clark before. Crazy gamma-flavored Oreos. Ugh. Uh, 25 and 20. Yeah, Sean, go back in. Yep, next one will trigger it. Everybody come down here. Actually, the, the fruit is easy. So we can we can do that separately. Fragment of the Universe Taste Review. Cosmic Brownie flavoured. Very popular with the department. Uh, if you don't mind me asking any reason behind the new suggestion thread on the Discord. You asked that and I answered on the, on the thread. Uh, what's the highest stripe? Uh, who has the highest stripe level? Uh, the stripe is just how long they've been in the department, isn't it? Ooh, that one's quite fancy. Nine days. Uh... Uh, Dia's been here since day one. Dia and Solomon have been here since day one, so probably them. And... Alright, let's get that. So I still need another 45 minus 9, so 36. Alright, let's send... Um, Velvet in and trigger... The fruit apocalypse. Bwam, bwam. Uh, normal to everything. Yeah, okay, you go do that, and you go do that. Doing passive damage, but low. Just check down here. Oh, it's killed a Clark. All right, they killed it up there. Yeah, the fruit seems quite easy. Good work, guys. Cool. All right, everybody heal up. Uh, and then we'll wrap up the day. We lost one clock. Oh, no, we lost two. Down. Uh, oh, no. I see three corpses. But none upstairs. Uh, Popper die. I guess we'll just continue farming Popper die. Uh, Sean... You've got the lowest health still, or probably not at the end of the day, you'll probably increase it quite a bit. Good work, Sean. We lost the stripe on the healing bay for information team. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, Max, perfect. I lost one of those. Um, and uh, Sean again. So what I'm going to do to wrap up the day is basically put all all of the people I can without setting off another cliff off meltdown through the mirror, just to wrap it up basically to to farm that a little. And I mean I should do this one as well, but. I'm less interested in that one. Alright, uh, it's, oh wow, it's still actually going to be a couple. I might have another meltdown before Popper dies done. Sorry, before the thing's done. Alright, Sean, you've been through quite a, uh, quite a few times, so the next lowest is probably Velvet, so in you go.
I'm frozen. <clears throat> oh. Why is why is my me not talking? Hello. <clears throat> That's weird. I don't know why he's frozen. Hang on. What's this? Did I log out? No? Ah, hmm. Ah, hang on. <clears throat> Hello? Alright, that was just Discord messing up. Because it goes through Discord. For some reason, Discord stopped picking up my voice, so it stopped realizing I was talking. Uh, 32 Popper Die. There we go, Popper Die's maxed out. Fantastic. Good work, guys. So the bird's maxed out, Popper Die's maxed out. Uh, it's just the girl now. Although she's expensive. Uh, so go do some instinct work. Who needs to do the instinct work? Sean? Yeah, Sean. I'm training Sean quite a bit today. And it looks like we are going to get another meltdown because I'm only going to be able to put one person through. Actually, I think we're just going to get a meltdown anyway. I don't think I'm going to be able to make the the thing. Alright, in that case, put everyone in their position uh, for this. Uh, delta, Delta, Delta. Go to the spell. And dive down there. Dear, sorry. Grimace shake review when I don't really... Oh! Uh, I noticed Velvet has dog ears now. What's Poppadai's thing? Success rate minus two, work speed minus two, but higher health. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Alright, Velvet, you go to the dog. Um, Sean, you go down there. Oh! Ha! Ryan got the ego gift from the match girl adding to his tough guy aesthetic he's got the, the uh, plus four health from that he just looks so like you know I've died three times just like takes a puff on his cigarette his match and is like this isn't even a cigarette I don't smoke because I don't want to risk dying again so this is just a match that I light and put in my mouth to look cool Ryan is anything but a tough guy. I don't know, I think he looks pretty damn tough. I, like, considering he's got like long pigtails, he definitely makes it look tough. And I wouldn't have said pigtails is a particularly tough look normally. Uh, Alright, Skier, go to the Boydy. And Kyra down to the Mirror. Uh, uh, in you go. Sean, trigger three meltdowns. All right, it looks like it is the girl, the device, and the bird. Okay, deer, you go in there. And skier, you go in there. It's only reduced your success rate by two, considering you're already getting like plus three, sorry, plus six from presumably from your um, ego suit. Huh, yeah, there it is. You can actually see what it does. Available to agents higher than level four. 
Oh. Okay, so you can like turn it off. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, uh, you've got more than enough success rate to, to counterbalance having dog ears. Oh shit. Uh, all right, you come up here, Ryan. You get in there, would you? Everyone else good? Yeah, everyone looks it. Work success rate isn't connected to work speed. Uh, work success rate is is temperance right there. So it's it's minus two. Uh, but you're getting plus six from um, from your temperance level, and you're oh, you're getting you've got thirty eight normally, and you got plus six from your. Um, from your suit, I think. Alright, crisis averted. And now we'll just send everybody in to use the um, the mirror. It's inherited to Temperance Growth, yes, but they're technically separate stats. Yeah, yeah. Success rate is about my chance. Yes, it is, but like I said, it it literally says success rate as a number there. So given that this is success rate minus two, that, that number just gets a minus two on it. So yeah, it all makes sense. It's just, it's, it's just another stat, success rate. So 10% is much more important than minus two for example because 10 percent of 38 is 3.8 and uh, increase and scales with level whereas minus two is just a flat a very basic flat number so i wouldn't worry at all about dog ears you know if you want to wear dog ears at work go right ahead oh shit Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the fucking bird. Run away. All right. Um, <clears throat> just leave Epsilon to his fate. Why is, why is Punishing Bird... Oh, shh. Where's Punishing Bird gone? Why is Punishing Bird going for people? It'll... I'm trying to let it peck people and it's ignoring the people it can peck so it can target the people that it wants to peck. Right, everybody run the fuck away. Come, come, down, come down here, would you? Where are you going, Solomon, you nub? Punishing Bird, for fuck's sake, would you just eat somebody? Eat somebody who doesn't matter, please. Right, where are my people? Can you just come over here? And you come down here. Oh, shit. This is what happens if you don't bite it back. Haha. <laughs> Shoot the bird. Yeah, it seems it only wants to peck bloody agents. Alright, who have we got then? Um, Sean is the only one with a gun down here. No, Sean, don't fucking chase it. Everybody just stay hiding, would you? Let's just get everybody together. We need to face it in a corridor. So everybody come up here. I can end day and I'll get a minus one lob. Ordering the suppressing is what pisses it off. <laughs> I could just let it do what it wants. I will suffer a minus one lob, which isn't a great loss. And to be honest, I think it might be better to take that hit than, um, than lose somebody at this point. Oh, shit. Alright, who have we got who has a gun? It's vulnerable to everything. Alright, 
right, Sean. And Delta. And Solomon. Kill it! Solomon, run away. Solomon, run away. Oh, fucking hell. That thing has so much health. Yeah, okay. Um, cough. <laughs> yeah, I'm not losing someone after half an hour. Fucking hell. Well. Um, all right. Uh, increased HP, increased sanity, increased HP and sanity, increased HP and sanity, increased HP and sanity, and a level up. Good work, everybody. Don't tell anybody the bird got out. Okay? I'm, I'm really serious. Don't tell Angela the bird stayed out. Okay? We closed down for the night. The bird went back to its cell. Nobody has to know. Got it? Good. Now let's go on to day 11. The furthest I've ever got, because on day 11, the world ended. Grave of Cherry Blossoms. You've pressed it numerous times and you still have something you want to know about it? The snow is steadily melting, perhaps because spring is coming, or it might be the palace collapsing. Ooh. I'm tempted to go for that one again because it had good equipment, but I'm also inclined to just... Sorry, did Sean's justice go down? Did it? It did! Why did Sean's justice go down? Good eye, I didn't catch that. Why did Sean's justice go down? Ah. Alright, um, snow is melting, press the button. I think that's going to be, um, a passive one, so I'm going to go with that one instead. Is anyone there? Can you read me? I repeat, is anyone there? You can call me B. I am an insider, someone who knows a lot about the company. Please understand that I cannot reveal my identity. I am going to tell you three truths that the company wishes to keep hidden over the following days. Mm. Poorly phrased grammatically, that should be over the next fo uh, over the following days I'm going to tell you three truths. Tell me, please, why do you think you were hired by the company? Should I rephrase that? Let me ask you like this, then. Are you satisfied with your job here? Yeah. Is that so? Well, I cannot judge whether or not you're telling the truth. You're the manager, but you don't actually know anything about the company, do you? Would you say I'm wrong? Each time we speak, we'll need to be as brief as possible. I'm ending the call here. Contact contacting someone for a long period of time is dangerous. Safety or training? Hmm. Well, last time I went for safety because it seemed very dangerous. All right, let's do a vote. Uh, we'll just do an informal one. So, safety or training? Hello, manager. I'm in charge of the training team. Are you thinking of opening up my department today? Or, hey, I'm uh, the guy in charge of the safety team. We can exchange names later. Want to open up a department? All right, uh, we have one training, one safety. Just uh, safety for my boy Netzak. So, four, f uh, three for safety. Five, four for safety. Oh no, you already said that one. Yeah. So, seems mostly safety. Safety, training. Okay, going once.
going twice. And we have one, two, three, four. Four for safety. And one for training. Alright, safety it is. Yay. Okay. Employee assignment. Two for training. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I, yeah, that's that's okay. I didn't wouldn't have uh, changed the result of the vote. But I need names, so give me names, please. Uh, I'm down one lob, but I will still spend. Uh, I'll still get three employees. So give me names. Uh, put me in, boss. Uh, what name would you like? While I'm designing your hair. Jewel. Okay. I mean, seeing that hair, I know one character I've got to name one after. Uh, so, Jewel. So, let's see, we've got green, we've got blue. Uh, we don't have, oh, we do have a bright blue. We'll go for like a dark bright blue. Uh, Aurora actually seems fitting given the snow app, no. Uh, right, Jewel. Hired. Uh, one more name, and I I I know the what the third one will be. Uh, there's the new ab note. Yep, looks like high difficulty. Uh, another name, please. Ranta said that they had an idea. Uh, anyone else? Anyone who hasn't had one already? Uh, Sargston was in the first uh, reality. That was before everybody got wiped out by an angle. Uh, Rebecca, long brown hair. Um, let's customize the face a bit. Sort of anxious looking. Sort of, yeah, could be worse. Yeah, cool. Rebecca, and the last one is one that I have decided because I saw a hair and it makes me think of one thing and one thing only, so I will have to name it for that one thing. Is that the hair? Mm, no, that was the hair. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, we didn't re-add Sargston or Forest. Skier knows what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, combat mouth. Panicking. And this one is called Exusia. Damn, I can't afford to upgrade her at all. Look at Exusia in an adorable little suit. Right, uh, I'm sorry, but Exusia is going to have to be in charge of the department. Ego, right. Do I have a gun that I can give Exusia? She feels naked without a gun. Uh, soda. All right. Uh, jewel. Let's see. I uh, should probably give him white and a black. So you get the spear, Rebecca. And suit. Exusia. Ooh. That looks pretty cool. I like how it's just like a, a jacket, essentially, or an overlay. Now, if you get the Plague Doctor again, it'll be Angle versus Angle. Oh, that'll be so cool. Mm, a duel. Let's see, he deals white damage. Let's give him Beak. And Rebecca. Um... Okay, cool. So, let's begin day 11. And hopefully, we will actually complete it. God, can you imagine? Can you imagine if we can complete day 11? What have we got? Okay. Yeah, that looks worrying. So, I guess, let's send in Jewel, some sort of snow queen. Oh, you can hear like um, wind, like snowy wind, that's cool. Terrified, that's a good start. Storming with a frosty blizzard. Okay, that is a lot of sandy damage. Okay, yeah, he's going nuts so very quickly. What what can we do about that? Nothing, because he's the one who deals white damage. Right, um... Get here. Get here. Get here. Yeah, hurry the hell up, because he's he's about to flip out. He is not getting through this one. Quick as you can, guys. Yeah, he went nuts. Please give me an order. 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 Hey, manager. Jewel from the safety team's gone nuts. Can you check them out? Yeah, I'm on it. Okay, that is not too bad. Question mark? Hmm. Yeah, okay. So he is too much of a noob, basically, in order to do this. So let's send someone in who is not. Who have we got who's more sane? Nathan! Nathan, go and make friends with the... Um, Snow Queen. Uh, terrified is where you start getting big mind hits upon seeing it. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, this is not going well. Um, Jewel, you've recovered. Alright, come up here to help. Come on, get into the neutral territory at least. Nope, not so. Good work. You want someone who's ranked 3 or higher? I don't have anyone who's ranked 3 or higher. Uh, well, I'm up to 11. Look at little Zuzi egg. She looks so happy. Sorry. Um, who has the highest prudence? 35, 35, 39. Yeah, none of the newbies are at all ready for this. Yeah, 39 is the highest. Noily. Try insight this time. Nope. Nope, this is going even worse. Decently well, Noily. Oh, you very nearly completed it. Uh, actually, you did. You did complete it. Okay, everybody go and heal. Well, I find out what this is. Oh, it is actually the Snow Queen. When the res work result was... Normal, the employee was kissed. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well. Um, so I still need to farm the girl. Actually, I've got a cannon now. <laughs> oh my god, very slow speed. 20 to 30 damage. Bloody hell. Hang on a sec. <clears throat> oh, it's very hot. Very hot in here. Uh, this is probably another literary reference. <laughs> Increased healing efficiency. Ah, cool. All right. Um, you, you up here, you up here, and not you though. All right. Let's keep uh, making friends with the Snow Queen. So that one did all right. Noily, I'm going to send you back in there. Where's everybody else? Solomon, I said come up here. And Jewel as well. You got this, Noily. You're one of the sanest people I know. With your dog obsession. Very good work. Very good work, Noily. You didn't go nuts. That in the business is what we call progress. 
When the work result was bad, they were kissed with a high probability. The employee who received the second kiss forgot everything and was trapped inside the unit. To avoid the deadly third kiss and to rescue them, a duel must be commenced. Well. Hmm. That's not good. That's, that sounds seem pretty bad, in fact. How do I know if Noily has been kissed? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Things are getting harder. So I think I should play with the skull. Alright, Jewel. Talk to the skull. And uh, Ryan. Go talk to the girl. Good work. Uh, Itsu and Rebecca, you can come here as well. Oh, meltdown and a red dawn approaching. Oh, shit. The fucking bird. God damn this bird. Oh, what do I do? Is someone going to die? This fucking bird is annoying me. Run away from the bird, please. Yeah, I know the Snow Queen is melting down. Noily, you get in there. Sean, you got a gun. Nope. Keep running away, guys. You run into there. Shoot the fucking bird. Ah. Oh. I attack the bird and it makes me pop instantly. How 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 am I supposed to fight this bird that just gets angry for no reason? Ah! I think the heat is getting to me. I'm very annoyed suddenly. I think you're supposed to ignore it and let it do minor damage. Does it only do more damage if you fight back? It voluntarily returned to its containment after a panicked employee returned to normal or after a period of time. Angela was uh, Angelina was ordered to suppress it when they tried to attack it. Right. Okay. Yeah, I misread that. Right. I see now. Yeah. After a period of time. Otherwise, its stomach opens up and it swallows you fucking whole. I understand now. Yeah, you just ignore it. You don't fight back. You let it peck you. Okay, I understand. I thought it was just going to do psycho mega damage, just no matter what. So, <sighs> all right. So you three come up to meet the skull. Um, Solomon. Ryan, Noily, 
and uh, Cairo as well. Okay, Exu, go talk to the skull. Frivolous. I mean, yeah, that kind of fits. Noily. Let's go learn about the Ice Queen again. And this time I'm going to try and pay attention to see if Noily gets kissed. Rebecca goes in there. Noily's doing really well this time. I mean, I didn't see it, so presumably not. Good work, Noily. And duel your turn in with the skull. Heal up a little bit more, Noily. Good. In you go again. Keep an eye on the bird this time. Bird's at four. Exusio back in. Uh, next one's going to be the Meltdown, so let's put everyone in position. Skier to the bird, Sean to the... Oh, no, Sean to the mirror. Ryan down to the... Oh, Norley's about to go nuts, though. So. I didn't see a kiss. I don't know what the kiss looks like. Beat up Noily for me, would you? Alright, everybody go and heal. Uh, Nathan down to... No, Nathan in there. Deer in there. Delta sorted and Noily's downstairs. Alright, so Delta, you're going to have to come to the fragment. Cover for Noily. Alright, are we ready to trigger the meltdown? How are we doing on the bird? The bird's at three. Alright, you three back up to the queen. Noily. Uh, how many have we got? Nine? Common and high. Okay, so yeah, that was a good bet. No, not that one. Noily. All right, trigger the meltdown. It is the machine. Good. Fairly simple. Orange Dawn. Orange Dawn is the really bad one, isn't it? Orange Dawn is the, the insect infestation, I think. Uh, the bird's at two. Oh, we had a neutral. I don't know if Noily's been kissed. Okay, so insight is the best one for the queen. It is say there is a chance. Yeah, there, there's a chance, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like when it happens. Because I don't know, like, is she visibly going to, like, lean down? Is the mask going to fly off? Is Noily going to have, like, a, like a big red lipstick mark on her face? I, I have no idea. I, I don't know what it looks like. And because, two, it said you get locked in, I'm suddenly really, wouldn't it say so in her stats? It didn't say anything about the, the kiss negatively affecting. 
it's just the thing. It's just they get kissed, right? It might show if you get kissed like how the space kid would show a rock above the character. I hope so. And like the fairies? Yeah, alright, I'd hope so that it would have a visual indicator. In which case, Noily doesn't look like she's been kissed. Yeah. This is why I, I, when I get something new, I try and trigger the bad things it does so that I can recognize the bad things coming. That, Because that's why I do it. It's not just out of morbid curiosity, or oh, what happens if I murder 17 people with this? It's so that I know how not to do it when I reset time. You just... Uh, no spoilers, please. Uh, it, it said if um, if someone gets trapped, I have to send someone in to duel her. So I don't know what that means, and I don't really want to find out the hard way. Uh, all right. It said what what I said in there, but it didn't say that it was just a simple jobby. All right, um, Exusia, no, Rebecca, you go in there. Okay, Noily, you ready to try again? Kai would have been gifted with the world if he had failed to complete the sculpture of eternity with splinters of ice. What the fuck does that mean? Fun fact, I do actually know someone called Kai and it is quite a cool name. Noily? What was that thudding sound? Do you look like you've been kissed? Oh, yes! Hello! Uh, thank you for following on Twitch, greatly appreciated. Uh, there! That is a shard of ice stuck in Noily. That is what I assume a kiss looks like. I'm not familiar with the Snow Queen story. Kiss through the heart, and it was ice. Alright. Well, now I know. Now I know what it looks like, I can relax a bit more. Such as... Ryan! Go talk to the girl. You know, we played with ice, now let's play with fire. Alright, uh, who else could stand the sanity damage? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, alright, XCCA, go back in there. Uh, the Snow Queen story, some kid sister gets kidnapped and the kid goes to save them. The only Snow Queen I'm familiar with is like, I'm vaguely familiar with like the one from Narnia, but even that I barely know. Ryan is thunder aligned. I don't know what that means. Alright, um, yay, cannon. So I only need 15 more to get the last suit. No, not even close. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really big on fairy tales. Yeah, Ryan, go back in there. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the uh, Amber Dawn. <laughs> ah, Snow Queen, like Elsa from Frozen. <laughs> uh, Noily, I don't really want to send you back in there. Grab those two. Okay. Eighteen. All right, in you go. Let's send Velvet in this time. If 
Oh, it just looks so pissed off about having dog ears. It's hilarious. Hilarious to me. Oh, the bird's fucked off. Well, how do we not fight back? Is that a thing? How do we set it so that they don't fight back? Where's the bird going? So we do just ignore it and... Interesting. Why is it targeting Noily? Fascinating. That is so much less threatening than I thought it would be. Because I, like, I 100% thought it would just beeline for the nearest person, peck them once, and they turn around and hit it. That is what I really thought would happen. Wow. That is so much less bad than I thought it was. Oh my god. Okay. Brilliant. I am so happy that I've now found out what happens. Whew. Fantastic. Yeah. That is not a problem at all then. Oh, that's lifted my mood massively. Okay, who is ready for an insect infestation? Everybody come together. We'll do this as a big, happy family. Uh, you two go into here, and Rebecca, you're going to be going in to see the skull to trigger it. You should still bite the bird, just to be sure. No, no skin, no biting the bird. The bird bites back, and the bird's teeth are bigger. <sighs> yeah, I I didn't know that um, an abnormality being in there turns off the regenerator. I saw that just now. Okay. Insects. The perfect food. You know what they look like? They look like the bloody, um... The, the mold bars from um, Oxygen Not Included. That's what these things fucking look like. Great work. I mean, they are still murdering down there, so let's go deal with them. They're killing all the Clarks. Fucking oh well. The Exusia looks so happy to be shooting things. Where are they now? Oh, they're up there. Oh, what? Sorry, did two people go nuts? Oh well. Uh... Exusia? What are you doing? Uh... <laughs> I assume there's some law reasoning the regenerator can't differentiate between friend and foe so they turned off to potentially heal and have no- yeah, probably. Yeah, um... Exusia? Why are you trying to break out the fragment of the universe? Don't do that. Jewel. Who else? Ryan. Cairo. Solomon. And Noily. Please stop Exusia. Is that because... It's, I think it's because she's got justice as a highest, so she tries to free an abnormality. I've never seen this before. Quick as you like, guys. Oh no, she's got bored. Good work, guys. Oh shit, the fucking insects are still around. Jules about to die from them. Alright, we're fine. Ryan wields a red weapon. No, Ryan's on the. Uh, Ryan's just got a penitence now. 
Yeah, he's just got a penitence. It's supposed to be based on their highest stat. At rank 1, it's entirely random. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I assumed it would be, that if their stats are all equal, then... Um... Oh. Yeah, all the clerks died. Oh, well. <clears throat> no, Ryan can't murder people. Right, so we lost... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fucking hell. Eight, nine. We lost nine clerks. Shit. Ha <laughs> ha Welp. Those are the worst. Like, the, the circus um, things reducing Cliffhold's counter, that is potentially devastating, but that ah oh, those uh, is there are so many of them and they teleport and that's just a terrible combination okay right as we were we're very close to leveling to, to sorry to finishing the level so let's get the noobs up continuing to train with the angle not the angle sorry with the skull I kind of want to send someone back into the Queen. How are we doing on this one? Oh, we've maxed out the, the Scorch Girl. Oh shit, yeah, noon. Oh no. I am worried about noon. She looks so happy. No, oh, she's so cute. In case anyone's unfamiliar with what Exusia is referencing, it's a reference to Arknights. Exusia is my favourite character. She is an adorable angle, which means I should try and get her the um, like a Halo ego gift. I'm sure there is one. Like maybe that's what um, uh, the Doom Angel gives. That'd be so cool. Send her to the Plague Doctor. Oh, Exusia. Uh, do the bugs damage anything by being around, or could you set up a base and wait for them to come to you? Uh, the clerks. That's because that, that's basically how I handle them. That I clump everyone up and I go and just fucking mob them because there are too many individual things to to micromanage. Because like when you've got like characters layered over, it's like so difficult to click exactly the one you want so when you've got like a big group of them and a big group of insects virtually impossible to do precision combat so i just get a big mob same way i play rts's really a big mob and a big mob and i just dump them on there but the only damage they seem to do is they fucking massacre my clerks uh right I've got the energy, so let's send everyone through the mirror. Uh, one by one. Yeah, the bugs warp. So this is the furthest I've ever got. Day 11 done and nobody's dead. Ryan, go play with the mirror. Oh. Oh no, I don't need to worry about the bird, do I? Ski, I go play with the mirror. Jewel, go play with the mirror. Yeah, this doesn't seem to count for the cliff off meltdown. I don't know if it's because it's an item or just because of this one in particular.
How many do I need? That's everything. Good. We're done. Don't need to worry about the mirror again. Yay! Now it will only get worse. Yay! Everybody's alive. Prudence has gone up. Prudence has gone up. Noily's level 3. Ryan's level 3. My first level 3s. Uh, Velvet, Prudence and Fortitude, Exusier, Sanity, Jewel, Sanity, Rebecca, Sanity. Brilliant. Everybody's alive. What a good day that was. And just think, this time in the previous timeline, fucking everybody had died. <sighs> right. Uh, in, over time, her unbearable sorrow grew into a mournful obsession covered in countless lengthy hairs. Right. Mm. Oh, I'm going to go with the one I've, I've not seen before. What do you think of the Sephiroth? Don't you find them somewhat lacking in certain ways? You have the liberty to disregard whatever they may say. However, please be kind to them. <laughs> you literally just said, don't, don't you find that they're really, really crap? But be nice to them. This is the burden we must bear if we want to advance their departments, so to speak. I have never had any serious discussion with them. They seem to be uncomfortable conversing with me. Most likely due to the fact that I am a superior being. Even if they are secretly jealous of my superior... Angela, come on. If they are secretly jealous of my superiority, there is nothing they can do to change that. After all, I'm the most a advanced AI in this company. I mean, that implies that I'm not an AI, because if I'm newer, I should be more advanced. But, uh, I don't know. I don't think I am an AI, just for the record. I don't think I am. It's just uh, uncertain. It might just be an implant. Oh, this is the, um, this is the safety department. That's, that's what the main room looks like. A standard lobotomy corporation protocol now requires you to make sure you look nice before you leave work. We don't want to report, re, uh, repeat of the serial killer look PR disaster. The serial killer look, right, yeah. And the prize for the most modest day I <laughs> I gotta get dressed up in the mirror every night like a punch card. <laughs> Man, why did the meeting room have to be so far away? Oh, you already know my name, right? Got anything else to say? I do. Could we talk later then? Don't really want to be bothered right now. You look a little dumbfounded. You know this isn't the kind of place where we preach how we're so honoured to have you as our manager and whatever. Well, this took a turn. Well, not like you were expecting that anyways. That's right, I'll be level with you. I don't like my job. I really want to quit if I could. But I can't, can I? I'm here against my will. I don't know what grand ambition or aim compelled you to stand where you are. Don't care either. For me, I don't even remember ending up at this place, yet I have to play this role I didn't want to take. I never wanted to be responsible for keeping others alive. Whoever assigned me here, they were totally wrong giving me the job. I feel helpless. Employees die every day. There'll be no one to remember them. No one to honour their sacrifice. The safety team is in charge of, well, the safety of employees. Employee safety. You'll understand how hard it is to m maintain that once you try it firsthand. End the day without a single death. Alright, this may sound callous, Nick Zack. Are you counting the clerks? <laughs> Do they count? Because if they count, this could be a problem. If they don't count, quid's in. <laughs> oh wow, I can also open the training team. I do believe this applies to agents only. Oh, that's a relief. Phew. Mm. Yeah, I should have looked into this. 
Hey, you sure you want to expand safety before the day starts? Yeah. Okay, the new one uh, looks to be a, a Teth, is it? Yeah, Teth. And the new one. Give me a name, people. Lots of teth in the building, yeah. Uh, remember that if an agent is panicked when you end the day, they get executed on the spot. I will remember that, thank you. It's rare that I end the day with people panicking anyway. Uh, do we have a name? Anybody? Anybody got a name request? Good name. It's ironic with blue hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, alright. We could just stick with Ruby. Well, thanks for watching, Ranta. Uh, be sure to check out the VOD to find out if Ryan killed anyone and or died. So, uh, if we have no other names, we'll just go with Ruby, which is the default one. Blue Ruby is a sapphire. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll go with Ruby then. And I've got two more lob. So let's promote. Um, does this make Noily the team captain? No. Thanks for watching, Ranta. Who's, how does it decide who's the captain? Oh, wow. Ryan's marked as a strategist and a researcher. Is that because of their highest stats? That's pretty cool. Because, when, like, when they reach level three. Because there's a newbie, an employee, and then researcher and strategist. Uh, let's see. Nathan. Uh, yep, just buff you up. Cool, Nathan's level 3 as well and is a specialist. Alright. So I need to end the day without a single death. Uh, oh, I need to give Ego to Ruby. Uh, I've got the very short range claws. And, oh, I have a cannon. Yeah, okay, let's give Ruby the Doom Cannon. That's, that can only go well. Yeah. The match cannon. Sure. Suave employee. Cool. Right, what's the new thing? 
Um. Am I going to get demonetized? <laughs> um. Am I allowed to show this on Twitch? Does anybody know? Okay, well. I'm going to assume that you're saying, oh no, because it's a naked woman, and not, oh no, because it's the doom of my, my playthrough. Do we need a sense of that? Possibly. It depends what she does when someone goes in to see her. If she turns around, we could be in trouble. All right, Noily, let's, uh, let's get everybody together for uh, the Queen Patrol. Queen Patrol! Going nuts as we make friends with the Queen. Queen Patrol. Just don't look at her. <laughs> All right. I guess we will send someone into there. Uh, let's get Nathan. Ooh, God. Nathan, let's send you in to do some instinct. Then again, it's a little bit worrying send some sending someone in to do something called instinct work when there's a naked woman in the room. That just seems ill-advised. Not much is known except that she faces the wall. Nathan doesn't seem to worry too much. It's, un it's likely because she just remains by the wall no matter who enters. So insanity damage. It doesn't seem too harsh. Snow Queen was doing like three or four, but I think that's because um, this one is... Seems like someone, someone could understand what she's saying if only they were to concentrate a bit harder. But no one dares to do so. <laughs> attachment seems the riskiest, you know, given what attachment usually entails. Emotional engagement. God, what's... Keep... Wow, first time I've used this in a while. Keep it clean, guys. Come on. Nathan tries to concentrate. Yeah, keep your mind on the task, Nathan. That actually went really well. I need 12. Okay, yeah, that went well. Just check Nathan's got nothing. Nope, doesn't look like there are any marks on Nathan. Send them back in then. Uh, and I will also send Noily into the Queen. One can only hope that Nathan remembered to bring earplugs. So my guess is Siren? Hmm. Oh, no, he isn't doing too well. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Noily no longer has the kiss. So I, I was hoping that the kiss would vanish between days. Seems it does. Her whispering seems to be getting louder. And that's worrying. What was that? Oh, that was the kiss. Yeah, Noily got kissed again. Noily, go heal up. All right. Wall gazer. Oh, that's creepy. Employees with temperance level one may turn their head back after hearing wall gazer. If they do, they will be subject to a panic attack. When attachment work is performed, the cliff off counter lowered. Oh. Okay. Uh, 
All right. Um, employee who received the second kiss forgot everything was trapped. Uh, to avoid the deadly third kiss and to tra rescue the trapped employee, a duel must be commenced. Only those with a high fortitude will be able to rescue. Let's make sure to rescue them before the day is over. Okay. Alright, well that doesn't seem as bad. Yeah, it seems there is no gift. Interesting. Alright, well I need 16 in order to, uh, to get the escape info for that. And the wall gazer. Temperance level 1. So basically, I need to send high temperance people into the wall gazer. Alright, you two, come back up. That's a nice looking suit. It is rather nice looking. Not certain about the fur, but the little white tie is cool. I'm sort of getting um, like a mix of Ring Girl and sort of weirdly Attack on Titan from this. Just the nakedness, I guess, and the, the black hair covering the face. Maybe you get a Gift of You Jewel it? Yes, that's possible. The only other one we've seen that doesn't give a gift at all was the Plague Doctor, and that's because he was like, um, oh no, or did he have a gift and he just didn't have a an escape? I don't remember. Oh no, no, the escape was like, it needed like a thousand boxes to unlock. The gift was the halo. Okay. Um... Alright, let's send... Well, what's your temperance? Temperance 2. Yeah, that's fine then. Alright. In you go. And Noily. In you go. After listening, one can assume that she is longing for someone. Hmm. That's worrying. Even though Wallgazer has moved an inch, Nathan still finds her unnerving. Oh, Noily's doing very well. Her words are faint and muffled. Noily is doing very well. Also, Noily has a kiss. I forgot that. Nathan hurries to finish up their task to leave the room as soon as possible. Very good work, Noily. That was spectacular. 17 boxes. Uh, no cliff off counter, non escaping entity. Alright, that's not too bad, actually. Alright, let's read about the queen. A queen lives alone in the frosty winter forest. Like how every story starts, Kai was a child with a kind heart. When the shards of a mirror made by an evil fairy were scattered on everyone's heart, Kai began to see things he didn't want to see, or need to see. He left the small village he grew up in. In an unforgiving blizzard, Kai met the Snow Queen. He became curious of the world beyond his knowledge. He felt as though everything he knew amounted to so little. The snow palace he reached was so cold, but the Snow Queen's kiss froze his heart and he couldn't feel the cold anymore. There was no joy in the palace, only the long winter night. Gerda was strong enough to remain unpierced by the mirror, and brave enough to go on a journey to rescue Kai, so she set off towards the snow palace. The journey was agonizing, Gerda was hurt and pained, sometimes she cried. However, eventually, Gerda met Kai. Spring arrived with blossoming roses, its warmth melted the Snow Queen's palace, and the piece of mirror in Kai's heart evaporated without a trace. Then, left all alone, the Snow Queen... something. <laughs> <coughs> I remember the day we put her in the cryo-coffin with our own hands. 
At some point, her joyous laughter was gone. She just cycled through laughing and crying, and eventually she was found in a bathtub soaked in red with her wrist cut. We did not believe in death. I will have her reconstructed from the machines I have detested for my entire life, but have become the only answer. She would have been disgusted by me with this, by me for this, dying in that bathtub. However, we were too far down the road, filled with remorse and regret to feel any sort of guilt. One day, it spoke to me. I remember you. You are a kind-hearted person. The moment I heard it, I was seized by the urge to destroy what I created with my own hands. What the fuck? That took a- what the hell? <sighs> Jesus! <sighs> okay, that took a turn. That took a really harrowing turn. There is no associated gift. Interesting. It still says locked though. Okay, well, uh, I need 35 and 35. 35 and 35, that's rare. Okay, and it is a white weapon, weak to red, endured white and black. It's like they've interrupted the story to break into another story altogether. It seems connected though, because Cryo Coffin, you know? I don't know if that's coincidental or deliberate that it's the Snow Queen and the Cryo Coffin. Hmm. I think that this game has like two stories going on. There's the abnormalities and then there's whatever is buried beneath the abnormalities. They've already shown that perception alteration is a big part of this. So I would not be surprised if virtually everything we're seeing and reading is not how it actually is. Hmm. Well, good work, Noily. You did really, really well. Uh, how's Nathan? Nathan could do with some sanity. <clears throat> Alright, one more, and then we will need to prepare for the what's it. So, Skier go to the bird, Velvet go to the dog, Sean go to the burn, Deer go to the machine, Delta go to the spider. go again. Whew. Tend to be deaf. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, when the work result was bad, the cliff off counter lowered to the high probability. Every employee in the department suffered white damage. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. fell into the masochism simulator hidden behind cute JPEG character trap. Uh, Schadenfreude, hee hee. Um, yes, cute horror is one of my biggest loves. Um, 
and it's basically the only way I enjoy horror. Because I don't, I don't like horror, but cute horror sort of scratches that itch in a way that I really, really enjoy. So it's a genre that I discovered with the Miskatonic, basically, which is um, a visual novel. No, yeah, visual novel uh, based on uh, someone's own take on the Cthulhu mythos. And it combined sort of really horrific things with such adorable artwork that I fell in love with it. And I've actually done a, a fanfic piece set in that universe. It's on my website. <clears throat> if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Besides that, I won't help you. It's a game about exploration, trial and error. Do you want a warning if you're about to softlock yourself? Nope, I want no warnings at all. Uh, I've already softlocked myself once. Uh, I met a very friendly doctor who proceeded to cause an apocalypse. Um, but yet, yeah, I'd, I'd rather learn and fail myself than, uh, than have to spoil. So I appreciate you checking with, uh, checking with me before, before telling me anything. Oh, attachment, very high. Oh, when attachment is worked. How high is the damage? I'm wondering. Like, they all suffer white damage. Is it worth tanking it? Is what I'm wondering. Oh, the lady facing the wall. Alright, I won't test it today, but tomorrow I will. Tomorrow I will bait her cliff off counter and find out how bad it is, just so I know. Uh, but today's going well, so I won't. Uh, so, I yeah, I should just keep up with the instinct work. Uh, where is Nathan? Nathan's there. Uh, anything else I need to farm? Not that one. Not that one, not that one, not that one. I know none of those, so no, it's just these ones, and we're going well. Uh, interested in a few Lobo Corp uh, fun facts, as long as they're not spoilery at all. Like, it's better to err on the side of caution. If you, if you ever feel the need to say it's not really a spoiler, it's probably a spoiler. Uh... Non-escaping entity. Oh my god, look at that weapon. Very long range. Why does she have some sort of... Screaming wedge. Bizarre. Alright, so these are 35 and 25, and these are 35 and 35. Alright, Noily, how are you feeling? You feeling good? Yeah, you've taken a little bit of damage, so just go heal up. Nathan. Uh, keep. I can, yeah, I can turn up the speed. Uh, Noily hasn't been stabbed, has she? Oh no, she has been stabbed. Who else do I have that's capable? Delta... I mean, potentially, I can I can put Delta in there. The Bloodborne crossbow. <laughs> Halfway. The game took over a year to develop, made by two developers on a budget of $5,000. The game used to have horrible English translation. He used Google Translate and then run with the money. Yeah. Okay. Noily has Prudence 4. Does she? She does. Oh, because she's been spending so much time with the Queen, of course. Wow, that is impressive. 
Why not see the jewel and find out how it works tomorrow? Okay, yeah, all right. We might use tomorrow as a test day to bait the lady facing the wall into doing something horrible and to try the, the jewel as well. Yeah, all right, I'll do that tomorrow. Might have time for it in this stream. All right, uh, Delta. Yeah, Delta's not doing well. <laughs> uh, yeah, worth a try. But that's why I've got these four here. Because they're my four white damage people. Oh, no, Delta's black damage, yet. Yeah. The rest are white damage, yeah, that's correct. Ah, oh, Delta survived it, good. It's like a trial by fire, but by ice. I'm sure there'll be a name for that somewhere. Uh, Nathan. Let's keep it up. He's gonna keep farming these two today. Oh, what? She's got a little speech bubble. She always keeps herself in the same pose. If it wasn't for her babbling, one might believe her to be a statue. I mean, she is also visibly breathing. She doesn't even twitch, however, it seems she can feel the presence. Her whispering seems to be getting louder. Hmm. Trial by Frostfire. <laughs> All right, Delta, you ready to try the the queen again? In you go. Nathan, back in there. Nathan, not Nathan, uh, Delta, you got this. Oh, Delta got stabbed. I mean, kissed. To some people, they're so similar. <laughs> uh, red is the circus, so they're going to be reducing the cliff off counter. How's the bird? I'm surprised the bird hasn't freaked out at all. 35, we have enough. All right, I'm going to get the weapon because that looks incredible. And 25? No, 35. Alright, so everybody stack up. No, don't stack up. Because these guys don't do damage, you just need to mob them. Okay. Are we ready? Let's send, oh, yeah, let's send Exusia into the skull. And ready for it. Got ya. Alright, we're ready for this one. Come back, you little clowny bugger. <laughs> that went really quick. I said in one of the earlier streams, and I will say it again, this game does a fantastic job of making the horrific and, like, impossible feel like a like a, a, a job, an office job. You know, it's like, ah, uh, how do we do this one? Well, we just counter it with this. Easy. In the same way as you'd go, oh no, um, my fan is being very noisy. I'll just clean it. You know, that kind of, that kind of easy counter. And there is a lot, and there is a lot to remember and a lot to know. But when you do know it and you do remember it, it's, it's simple to counter it. So, in this case, it was just like, 
um, you have to make sure you, you are there to mob them wherever they are and they jump around a fair bit. So, whereas with the ones that deal damage, I like to clump up and kill them quickly in a big group so that they can't kill one of my guys one by one, in this case, it is more important to start hitting them fucking quick as you can. Oh, they did manage to kill two, two of my clerks, though. How? How did they kill my clerks? They're little bloody punching dolls, aren't they? Oh, whatever. Uh, Nathan and Delta, come up here, would you? We'll continue our work. We will continue our work for the day. Uh, yes, we have the clowns. Is there someone else I can send in here? So I need someone... Um, someone with instinct... Um, with higher temperance than one. don't really prioritize. Alright, actually, yeah, Jewel, I actually reckon you might do okay in there. No, I don't want to know why. I ask a lot of rhetorical questions, don't worry. I assume the clowns do kill things or whatever. Okay, in you go. He might not be okay, but I've got these guys outside ready. How's the bird doing? Bird's fine. Good work, Jewel. Oh, I've unlocked everything, haven't I? An abnormality in the shape of a woman against the wall. Over time, her unbearable sorrow grew into a mournful obsession covered in countless lengthy hairs. As she is always facing the wall, not a single person has seen her face. While she occasionally talks to herself and weeps quietly, it is impossible to have a meaningful conversation with her. Despite her human appearance, it is impossible to discern what she is really looking at or her true intentions. She will attempt to talk to or pique the interest of those who are about to leave her containment unit. However, one should never look back in response. It may only cause mental damage. <clears throat> Certain rumours insist that one may turn to stone upon looking back, but this is clearly not true. Observation log. There is only one important rule to follow. Ignore her. She always tries to draw our attention. She mutters incoherently and attempts to have those in the room pay closer attention to what she's saying. She'll even plead or whisper maliciously when someone is about to leave, in the hopes that they may instinctively look back. The subconscious is a threat to your own health in her presence. It is important to have your guard up and be aware of what is occurring when you're in the room with her. If you forget the warnings for even a second and let your guard down, you may find yourself looking back towards here. I suppose to be her typo. If you forget the warnings for even oh I have another warning to leave to all who read this. Do not let this insidious abnormality learn your name. If she learns your name she may use it to trick you into turning around. No matter what you hear, or what she may do to tempt you while you're in the room with her, do not, I repeat, do not under any circumstances look at her. Curiosity is a luxury you must never indulge when you're in her containment unit. Counseling log. Employee FE004. Redacted was a colleague of mine for whom I cared deeply. Well, I care for all my co-workers, but Redacted was different. The amount of passion they poured into their work was something I've rarely witnessed in life. Anyways, I've no idea how she... That abnormality learned Redacted's name. Maybe someone called it out to them while they were inside the containment unit and she heard it. She should have sent in two to work for We should have sent two in for work with her. The common procedure was to have a team of two sent into the containment unit, but as you know, we're always short handed. Besides, that abnormality was low on the threat scale. 
If we followed the procedure and sent two inside, the powers that be would not have been happy about it one bit. Well, you know the rest. The day the incident happened, Redacted was sent to the containment unit as usual, but they didn't come out for a long time. I know Redacted was a prompt and diligent worker, so I headed straight for the containment unit, fearing the worst. Thankfully, I found them without even a scratch, but the kid looked out of it. Like, way out of it. The next day, the kid was resigned. I heard they sent him to an asylum, but no one ever saw Redacted again. The kid just kept staring at the wall, murmuring and not responding to anyone. That was the very last time I saw Redacted. No one knows what happened inside the containment unit. We won't find out from the kid either. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, that's a little bit underwhelming. I mean, maybe I'll, maybe there's something more interesting with it if I do the attachment stuff. But I don't know, that one just felt a bit lacking. Felt like it was lacking that final punch that makes you go, what the fuck? Uh, Delta, you've got a spike. Um, Noily has a spike. Yeah, normally in Delta Bird that spikes. So let's, um... They can't all be winners, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Uh... Who was I sending in? I've forgotten who I was sending into this one. Oh, uh... Jewel, here it is. <coughs> Alright, this should be the last one I need. Unless Jewel fucks it up. Ugh. Yep, Jewel fucked it up. Good work, Jewel. Heal up and I'll send you in one more time. In you go. That's the bird. Okay, the bird may break out now. The bird didn't break out now. Okay. Thanks for watching, Skier. Um, probably going to go for another, I don't know, 20 minutes. Um, I think we'll do the uh, the test where we just sort of push the limits and then we'll call it a day rather than go on to another, another long day. All right, job done. Nobody died. Yay! Noily increased sanity. And Nathan increased fortitude, Exusia increased sanity, Jewel increased health, Delta increased prudence, and sanity. Cool. Good work. Good work, everybody. Okay. The only advice I can give is to remain cautious and aware of your surroundings. What happens when the black swan wakes up from dreaming of a white swan? Blood covers the whole floor. Screams echo. People are running away. That seems friendly. Let's go for the swan. The first truth I will tell you is, do not trust the AI at your side. In this day and age, most AI possess an intellect of at least ten regular people combined. Some can even imitate human emotions with ease. However, they can do things you are not aware of yet. For example, some AI can lie. Or rather, to be more precise, they can withhold information. I mean, Angela has outright said that she does, so... If the controller of an AI is given the order to not share specific information, it has no obligation to tell the truth to anyone other than that controller. Some advanced AI can exploit such in order to tell lies, reinterpreting the meaning of the command. I programmed an AI before, well, participated in the programming to be exact. 
That's how I know for a fact that an AI will not necessarily tell the truth. Frankly, I didn't expect that they would. In case you doubt what I'm saying, I will send you a program for your monitor that I developed myself. The key will function like Pinocchio. What? The nose will lengthen. The color red means untruth. This is a test version, so it can only be used once. When I shut my eyes, I feel like I'm in another place altogether. I see a different world, one I'd belong to. I think I remember doing something there, hoping to save someone else's life. But here I am now. What's the point of saving an employee's life if you're just going to watch them die the very next day? What's the point of delaying the inevitable? Those who work here have no future. None of those little things called plans and dreams. No self-reflections, no hopes to become a better person tomorrow. All of that's a luxury they can't afford. Why must I wake up and endure yet another day? Why do I have to bear the pain and get through it all knowing tomorrow is going to be just as dreadful? We're just lemmings running straight for the edge of the cliff. You're really fun, Netzak. Speaking of which, could we get a vending machine for beer? If we're going to die, might as well get wasted before we drop dead. You know I can't do something like that. Oh, hello, Angela. Don't get out of line, Netzak. Consider this a friendly warning. You know what's coming if you are such useless nonsense one more time. Oh, I'd sure love to see you make it happen to me, Mom. Yeah, just keep ignoring me all you want. How typical. What's more important than keeping the employees alive is making sure they're sane. If you aren't careful, their minds may suffer permanent damage for the rest of their lives. You'll see that keeping up sanity is much harder than keeping them alive. Okay. Sure, I can do that. Yeah, let's expand safety. Oh, cool. Increase HP recovery, increase SP recovery. Ah, run when there are abnormalities. They will continue to run at a decreased rate even if the main room is invaded by hostile entities. Yeah, you were, um, uh, Ranta was right. I think it was Ranta saying it. Um, that they can't differentiate and that's why they turned off. Oh, I'm going to go with that one. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Um, do we have any name ideas? Should have known that poetic language would mean trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Lam with dirty blonde hair? Sure. Oh, can't spell. Lam. All right, dirty blonde is a bit difficult. It's an RGB thing and it's, it's not easy to get. That's probably the best I can do. Uh, and let's go with... Oh, wow. All right, higher.
Hey, playful plan. Let's improve fortitude. And ego list. Hmm. Oh yes, we, we've got the screaming wedge now. Let's give that to the, the newbie. Can only go well. And... So cute, I think. Okay. Uh, I'd rather get a beer vending machine. End the day without a single employee going into panic. This could be difficult. I'm also going to use this as a little test. Right, uh, let's see the new thing. Well, that's fucking terrifying, isn't it? All right, so let's do a little test. So first of all, we are going to do attachment work with the lady facing the wall, which will reduce her cliff off counter because we've got to find out how bad the damage that she deals is. So, um, go attach to the lady facing the wall, Lam. Are you going to name them all? What, name all of these individual people, or name every employee? <laughs> yeah, the cliff off counter went down. Six people in a room. <laughs> I assume they're like fungus or something, they're all connected. Like coral. names until we find the six people's real name. John. John. Jimmy John. Big John. Jimmy. John Johns and Bob. <laughs> How you doing, Lom? Yep. Seems you're doing okay. So, I'm going to send you straight back in there. So we can find out the damage that this deals. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to know that it is a very high amount of damage. Did. It just killed every clock instantly. And for some reason, despite this being weak, bizarre. Right, I'm just going to retry the day for a very specific reason. I want to see if she does something because I was paying attention to how much damage they took. But this time I'm going to pay attention to what she does when she goes nuts, so... Alright, Lom. Come trigger her again. Uh, it deals white damage, but since they have no sanity, it wasn't doing anything. Well, white damage when you deal white... Ah, oh, when they go nuts, does it? Oh, I see. Because they were both nuts already. It was re trying to reduce it instead of increase it. Yeah, I'm with you. The sound effects are of her breathing in a laboured way. That's really creepy. 
All right, come and do it again. This time I want to see what she does. <coughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay. And yeah, everybody's fine this time. Well, I mean, apart from the clerks, they're all fucking dead, but... <sighs> Upping attack speed with the cannon seems like a good idea. That's a good call, yeah. Alright, so... We may as well just keep on this one and retry in a bit. Uh, let's get Noily. Noily! Noily, come and meet the queen. So, now that we have done the uh, the lady facing the wall bad event, let's find out what happens with the Queen's Dew. And then we'll call it a day for the stream, I think. Wow, Noily is smashing it. I mean, she does have a really high um, thingy now. Who has the highest fortitude? That is a good question. Let's find out. Uh, Noily has three, Nathan has three, so probably Nathan. Nathan is probably the one who's going to go in to save Noily. Noily, come back. Alright, all of you just, just sort of piss off. Where's Nathan? Nathan, come down here. I probably don't want to be sending Noily in, do I? Because she's too good at this now. So she's not going to get neutral or bad results and therefore not going to um, to get stabbed. Yeah, she's not getting stabbed. Let's get Delta instead. find out that three fortitude is too low for a duel, that's perfectly fine. This is just to find out how bad this stuff is. Damn it. You're too good at this. If I need an, uh All right, let's send um, Solomon in to do instinct work instead. A low chance. I need a low success rate. I need their sanity to be high enough that they don't go nuts, but I need them to... Um, I need them to get a, a neutral or bad result. No, Solomon's going to go crazy instantly. That was a little bit close. Just heal Noily back up. Let's get some more emergency people like Ryan over here. Ryan. And Jewel. And Cairo. That should be plenty. Alright. In you go again. Oh, we have a meltdown. What do you like? Repression. And the, the lady, so... Instinct. Oh, 
Oh, the, the bird got out. That's fine. Bird went back on its own. Ah, because someone recovered from panic. Oh, Delta went mad. Surprisingly hard to get a kiss from a queen. There we go. Good, I heard that one. Yeah, so I think the mistake was sending them in to do um, insight work. I should have sent someone in, someone who's got very high prudence in to do, like, instinct work so that they hold on to their sanity, but they get a bad result anyway. It's funny how trying to fail is sometimes harder than do than, than sort of succeeding. <laughs> when you're so good at your job, you cannot help but succeed. In you go, Delta. Delta, fuck it up. No. Yeah, there you are. Look at that. Well. Okay, then. We have our duel. Noily. Go in and save Delta. Uh, so presumably I just send Noily in. Okay. The dramatic fight music. Still does sanity damage in the duel. The ultimate showdown of ultimate destiny. What? Oh! I guess I needed to get a good result. Shit. I was literally just thinking, oh, that's really not a problem. Only those with a high fortitude will be able to rescue them. But they didn't do any fortitude. Ah, oh, whatever. Well, now I know that's not good. So today I have learned, do not attach to the, the naked lady facing the wall because she will murder everybody. Uh, do not get captured by the Snow Queen because she will murder everybody. Yay! Well, overall, I think that was a good uh, test day, so I will retry the day just to make sure it isn't going to continue me from there. And, um, yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I will be back uh, on Friday, a couple of days from now, to try and go through a day without a single employee going into an insanity-driven panic. Thank you very much for watching. 
Uh, thanks for everyone who dropped in. We had a couple of new people. That was cool. And uh, I, as I say in most of these, thank you very much for not spoiling things. It is greatly appreciated that you're letting me discover this on my own because, oh, I love this game. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, follow on Twitch and Twitter. Sub on YouTube and uh, uh, Twitch. Uh, join the Discord. Uh, check out my Patreon. All of this is linked below the Twitch and in the description of the YouTube stream. Also, because I forgot to mention it last time, uh, there is a big suggestions thread. If you have any thoughts on how I do anything, uh, come to the suggestions thread and I would really, really, really like to hear your thoughts on, on virtually anything about uh, what I do and how I do it. Um, <clears throat> So that's on the Garen Reaver Discord, uh, linked below the Twitch and in the description of the YouTube stream. And I will catch you later. Hello, future people. Goodbye, future people. Bye-bye.